So our next session is what we refer to as FYI, the BYIs, meaning bright young Indians. Uh, and the idea of us doing this session is essentially to ensure that the next gen, we put the spotlight on who's going to be making headlines at the India Today Conclave maybe 10 years from now. We just had, of course, a great session on education. So we're putting the spotlight right now on artificial intelligence. And we have a prodigy with us. Uh, I'd like to call him up on the stage here at the India Today Conclave. Can we get on stage right now, Rol John Aju, Kerala's AI prodigy? So he's too cool for a session. He's told me he doesn't want me to moderate, to talk to him, none of that. He wants to go ahead and handle this himself like a pro with the help of AI, I assume? Yes, obviously. So go ahead, I'll just hand you a mic. I will be needing you by the end though, so don't worry. <laughs> hey guys, is that all the energy you guys got? Hey! Hi! Really? Hi! Hi! Okay, so I was told to talk about myself, about, you know, AI and all. So let's talk about that, shall we? So, I want to show my perspective of what I think what AI is and how India can use it, how it can be used in the education. So, let's get started, shall we? Can the PPT just come? Okay. So, we have heard the word Gen AI, Machine Learning, AI, Neural Networks. We have heard all these words. What does it actually mean? What is AI? Right? Have you guys heard AI? No? Have you guys heard AI? Yeah, right? Obviously, you guys are here. What is AI? Artificial intelligence, right? Right? Make sure I'm not wrong. I might get wrong. So, I'm A guys, so hallucinations. So, AI, artificial intelligence. What does artificial mean? Something that's not natural, right? Intelligence means that can take a certain information and use that information. You guys all have intelligence, hopefully. So, when we combine those words, artificial and intelligence, we get the word Artificial intelligence. Literally an AI brain, an artificial brain. Right, that's what you're talking about. But at the end of the day, it's just boring math and data. I'll come to that. So, we have been using AI for a very long time. Yeah, chat GPT, this and all. But you guys have been using AI from Google to YouTube. Whenever you get your favorite video, let's say I love AI videos. I get more of those AI videos based on the things that I like, comment, share. I get more AI videos because AI is like, okay, Raul like AI videos. So let's give him more AI videos. Very confusing sentence, but basically I get videos on what I like. That's AI predicting what videos I like to watch. So we have been using AI from the time of YouTube, Google and a very long time, right? So what got recently popular was Gen AI or generative AI, right? It's again, pred old boring math prediction. Let me prove it. See, every time a sentence comes predicting the next word, like ChatGPT does, or in an image, predicting the next pixel in an image, or when creating music, predicting the next note in a music, AI is being used in basically as prediction, right? So whenever you use ChatGPT, creating pictures, music, everywhere AI is being used, okay? Now, the reason I said all this, right now, AI is being played for, by China with Deep Sea, Quen. Have you guys tried it? They are actually very popular. You guys should try it. Then there is US who has ChatGPT, which you guys have tried it. Right? I'm getting off right now. Have you guys tried ChatGPT? Yeah. Okay. So, ChatGPT, Gemini, all those things. Right? Now, you can also create weird videos like this with AI powered VO3 and stuff like that. I can sit with Ronaldo and Messi on stage with AI right now. Uh, I actually did that. But AI can do crazy stuff. And this is by US giants like Meta, Google, Deep Sea, China. Wait, where is India in the game? Right? What are we doing? Krithram? What? what where, where is our AIs? That's what we got to focus on. We should not join the race. We, we can and we sh must create our own race. Let me prove it to you guys. Let's go back in time when I was not even born into this world, okay? Let's go back to, okay, answering another question. Is A another hype? I'll, I'll answer that through going back in time. So, the, okay, wrong logo. This is Nokia, right? Everyone knows Nokia? Yeah? 
yeah guys you guys need to respond to me as well i'm not going to sit and do all the work okay so you guys know no care right they kind of went down because they stopped innovating they had this symphony over and they were like android no 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 we want our own stuff right but they failed and that's what happens when you stop innovating let's take google this is the new google that time and yahoo which one would you choose google right it's much more cleaner wait oh my god look at that google now versus chat gpt which is more cleaner chat gpt so which one would you choose chat gpt okay don't believe me i am not like trust me no let's look at the data right let's look at the facts look at this every time something crazy came 100 million users were dropped into that for chat gpt to get 100 million users it took 2 months while aeroplanes atms took 18 years mobile phones took 12 years for 100 million people to start using that proves how big ai is so i am not just saying that's facts okay now why ai matters to you is ai going to take your job and why it matters to india let's focus on that right now let's go back in time when i was not even born i love doing that okay i wish i had a time machine okay so everyone says when computers came that it is going to take over the world i mean not going to take over the world but it's going to take all the jobs right typewriter jobs these jobs but all the big companies in the market right now are because of computers right from apple to nvidia to microsoft they are how many people are they employing what my feeling is same thing is going to happen with ai in the next 10 years we are going to lose a lot of jobs but after that we are going to get a lot back because if there is no internet why would we need something to search the internet like google right so we need to start using ai so we can see use cases okay i love this quote in the next 10 years what are you going to do though when a lot of jobs are going are you going to stay unemployed no ai will not replace you but someone using ai well you guys have to be that someone right i'll explain i'll explain okay so before i go to that i was told to talk a bit of, about myself so i want to just be like i'm not coming here and saying that do this do that let me show how i am using ai what i do guess what this whole presentation that you guys saw till now right that is made with the help of ai yeah with the help of ai and whenever i go so i take sessions around the world from tedx talks to iit madras i have done three times tedx from google so i have kind of gone to a lot of places and whenever i do i use ai and i also take sessions from us africa uh, to uk europe in a lot of schools and i counsel for businesses on how they can integrate ai into their workflow now after doing all that i also have my own company arm technologies where my father is my employee and he works for me he does all the boring stuff but <laughs> so what we do is that we consult for companies and we also have 10 plus ai tools which i create i train and see i also create content now why am i just saying i do that i do this let me come to the point when i create content let's start from my instagram youtube we get around 3 million per video why do we do that and how do we do that see why i try to do is not just say there is new ai tool that does this there is new ai tool that does this no what i try to do is that solve real life problems like finding the perfect pair of dress like i did today not matching but finding your perfect hairstyle or removing background sound in a video right there will be a lot of audio bad sound so solving real life problems with the help of ai that's what i focus on my instagram reels right and on youtube i go really in depth into ai like machine learning ai and stuff with a lot of animations and stuff but i teach it so people don't fall asleep because trust me i watch these ai tutorials and by the end i am like fallen asleep right i sleep up so i try to make it entertaining on youtube and stuff and on instagram i just show how real life problems can be solved by ai i don't even say it's ai until the end of it right so even when i create my own tools like justice we are working with the dubai government and the kerala government to bring justice to life we're crawling it project 47x right this is not just for lawyers but for citizens and in short there will be much less corruption there peop if people know their laws people know what they can do and during an emergency situation what all they should do everything 
this one year covers you can check out more i don't want to just talk about myself i should stop so let's one last thing even when education i am not trying to keep all the things i learned to myself on youtube right i am literally teaching ai from a to b from what is ai to fine tuning rag everything in the world for free like everything about ai from september 15th to that little bit of marketing guys got to do that right i'm doing this much hard work but <laughs> i'm teaching everything for free on my youtube channel on arm.pro you can check out more but the reason i'm doing all this that so people can know more about ai people can solve real life problems from my content creation to the 10 plus tools i've created to everything that i do i'm trying to make the world a better place but i can't do this by myself each and every one of you need to join this need to do this right i'm not telling go into ai do yourself no i'm trying to make india grow right i personally do want to do it and my father also does and for that i'm trying my best as see after all this i'm a student too and yeah i do use ai for my homework i know those questions are going to come but hopefully my teachers are not seeing but that's what i'm trying to show now even in my business yeah i do use ai let me prove why i use it uh imagine you are an octopus yeah octopus with eight legs okay you are a startup founder that has to do development of your product marketing team building customer service sales you have to do a lot of stuff once you get funding maybe you can have a team for marketing a team for customer service but until then what are you going to do right so that is where ai comes in it can make these legs shorter make what all you have to do much easier that's where ai comes in right uh, what are, let's say marketing anything okay let me prove it i'm not again facts guys numbers from forbes to pwc to mckinsey they all have reported that companies that use ai increase profit increase ma uh, market comparison to productivity to revenue everything increases so if you increase in profit just start using ai right because it does do it because it sets you apart from your competitor while i create a presentation in 2 hours another person might be doing it in one week right i can create pitch decks like this do marketing like this and there are a lot of things from your business idea to branding to business logo personally i did it for justice and i am a living proof that you can use ai in your business even guys see even in our community we are using ai look at the cameras right ai powered cameras or even in our operation sindur we used a lot of ai there in our defense so we are using ai we are really good at defense right but we need to use it for the com people we need to lead the consumer market the b2c market right now see we right now i'm ending it sorry i'm boring you guys to that right now but india okay is one of the largest economy in the world right now fourth right now after japan right but we have two options right now either we can be like malaysia okay we can continue manufacturing we can grow and stay stagnant or we can be like south korea where they did manufacture and they grew okay but after that they innovated they started samsung they did cultural stuff like bts that the whole world goes to smooth like okay i'll not try singing everyone will run but in short all these things south korea set themselves apart they grew with manufacturing and they grew even more by innovating and investing in r&d that's what india needs to do they need to invest in r&d in private and public sector and not only that in education we not need to follow marks and degrees sorry papa sorry teachers but we need to follow skills and creativity personally so i have like few friends from mumbai he has a team of 30 people okay i am sitting here with team of 20 like okay cool and both of them don't go to school education has not been helping them personally me what all i learned what all everything what i've learned i'm learning from youtube i'm learning from experiences going and traveling right i've self learned what what do other students do who are in the education system right now so what i want to say there are a lot of engineers who are still employed who are unskilled right there are a lot of engineers so we need to make them skilled so in in r and d and in a lot of stuff not just in ai but overall r and d can grow because if i can my friends can then anyone can that's it thank you wow i mean i don't know if there's anything for me to add beyond that 
You've gone into every possible segment. How old are you, Rol? I don't look like it, but I'm 16 years old. I've been doing it from the age of six. From the age of six? Yes. How did you get into all of this? I know you built your own robot. You didn't cover that in your presentation. Yes, I should Can have. Can you pull up a picture of the robot that you built? Yes. So, because I'm kind of lazy, uh, after my sessions, I wanted the students to still get their questions one, answered. Yeah. So, basically, this, a, this robot answered questions in my way, like clone my voice. It had all the information on how I let's say define AI, answer questions. So kind of like a clone of me, so it teaches when I am too lazy. So it's called MeBot. It's called MeBot, yeah. That's my robot. Okay, so what next? What's next in AI? Since you know everything about it, tell us what's next. So I am working, like I said, the Justice Project 47X, that's what we are working on. That's what we are working with the Kerala government and the Dubai government, where, to be honest, not everyone knows the laws. If I suddenly ask what is IPC section 47, no one knows. I don't know, right? But B, I, a lot of people don't know that IPC got replaced by BNS sections. And a lot of people don't kind of know if you're stuck in an emergency situation, let's say someone took your phone, right? You might go to the police station. You might use find my phone. But they don't know that if they get your SIM, they can, you have to block your IMA number. They can clone your SIM and get all your OTPs, bank OTPs and stuff. So there are a lot of things that not a lot of people know what to do during an emergency situation, right? So we are building a bot that creates DAS contract that when you upload a contract, it tells you what are the clauses, what are the recommendations, what needs to be changed. It tells you the correct laws and what to do during an emergency situation. We are not trying to take any lawyers' jobs, but we are kind of like aggregator, where there are more than 53 million cases solved in, unsolved in India, and we are trying to make lawyers' jobs easy, making them solve that, and only giving the most important cases to them. The basic advice, we can do it. The basic contract, we will draft it for you. So we are trying to solve that space, and that's just ease and justice. Amazing. Big round of applause. I introduced you. As a leader of tomorrow, I correct myself, you're a leader of today, looking at what you presented for us. But thank you so much, Raul, thank for joining you. us for that presentation as well. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. It means so much for inviting me. Thank you, guys. And hope I didn't bore you guys to death. <laughs>